Here's your lab instructions so that you know what you're doing right when you walk in. Um, for today's lab, you guys have right here this gas coll collecting bin. And in this gas collecting bin, actually, let me pull a different one. Some of you guys may have used this gas collecting bin in the past, but in it, it has a hole. And yeah, the lighting's kind of bad there, which is attached to this tubing. So in the lab, you're going to get a gas collecting bin. And you can see I've already filled this one with water, um, probably two thirds of the way full. Well, here's the premise of this lab. You're going to get a little piece of metal. That metal is an aluminum zinc alloy. Hint, alloy is a mixture, you guys. You can see some similarities already. You're going to be reacting this alloy with acid, hydrochloric acid. And guess what? The aluminum reacts with the acid and the zinc. This is an alloy of aluminum and zinc. And the zinc also reacts with the acid independently of each other. Hint, hint, hint. Anyway, so you're going to be reacting this piece of aluminum and zinc that's all mixed together with some hydrochloric acid. So what I want to do is just kind of let you see what you're going to set up so when you walk into class, you know exactly what you have. You're going to have to fill up your gas collecting tube with water. This gas collecting tube is attached to a test tube that has a stopper in it. So in this test tube, you're going to be putting some hydrochloric acid. It has about 10 milliliters, which does not have to be measured perfectly. It just needs to be in excess. So we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use a beaker here just to hold this up so I don't have to hold it. Oh, that's not going to work out. Oh, I'll use this other gas collecting bin to hold it. Perfect. So here's the key stuff that you need to be able to do. You're going to have a large Erlenmeyer flask. And your job is you're going to have to fill it all the way up with water. So you're going to fill it up to the tippy top with water. All the way up. Yeah, all the way. And then you have a little glass plate. You're going to slide that glass plate over the top so that there's no air bubbles. You're going to take this and flip it upside down into the, into the gas collecting bin so that there's no air in here. This thing is completely filled with water. So I had this, I held it firmly, and then when I got it under the surface of the water, I simply removed the glass plate. Now this is totally full. I am going to move this because there's that little hole in the bin so that it is sitting over the hole. Don't knock it over at this point. OK, um, I have a beaker that's got my hydrochloric acid in here. And what I'm going to do is I, I know I can kind of eyeball about 10 milliliters. That's about 10 milliliters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little piece of aluminum zinc alloy, which you will have masked, and it's just a little piece, and I'm going to dump it in and it's going to bubble. This is where you have a lab partner, so this will be helpful. One person will dump this in, the other person will very quickly stopper it so all the gas will go in. So I'm going to do my best here. I'm not collecting data, whereas you are. And this will start to react. Now, as that's reacting in here, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's actually bubbling. So you're going to be doing that as well. And so I am collecting gas, and you can watch it bubble in, which is what you're going to be doing as well. Now, I'm not going to let this whole thing react simply because I don't want the video to be too long. So let's assume, for the sake of time, that all of my aluminum zinc alloy has reacted. It hasn't, but you would let it completely react. You'll have collected a certain amount of gas in here. Now, the rest of the procedure, you've got to figure out how much gas there is. So here's the trick. you got to get this glass plate, again, underneath the surface and hold it tightly. Whoa, that would have really been bad if I knocked that over. Hold it tightly, so I'm going to do that, under the surface of the water, and then flip it back over. So that's what I have done. So this represents the amount of volume of gas that I collected, and then the rest is water. From there, you'll have a graduated cylinder. So you'll do some measurements. Yep, I poured it everywhere. Don't care. You're not going to do that. 
and oh my gosh this is a 250 milliliter graduated cylinder and I still have way too much stuff so I don't care I can take a measurement um, of the level here and I can dump that out and then I can go ahead and pour the rest in so yeah you'll have some pieces of data and so then I'll have two pieces of data great I can take that measurement that represents the water that was in the flask the last part of this is I have to fill this all the way up to the top with water and then I need to measure it how much water holds when the entire thing is filled to the top so it's really a pretty quick simple lab you can see although I didn't wait the time and I didn't fill this up the second time you really can get through it quickly but you need to know what you're doing so hopefully that at least gives you a heads up when you come into class you're gonna get one of those bins over there and it's gonna have everything you need except for the alloy so when you walk in you'll be able to go ahead and get started good luck I will see you guys in class and I'm taking photos and don't know how to stop recording